Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today I am making a video just because I'm getting still a lot of questions about adding a picture to a shirt. Um, I'm getting questions about the type of paper or vinyl that is used, as well as, um, you know, how to take the background out and how to do um, things of that nature. So we are going to make this shirt today um where i have added the picture i've added these qr codes you'll hear me talk about you know i'm trying to see if they'll work they work because i can actually scan them and go to the places you know go to venmo go to TikTok. so um something else cute that you can do for your business uh so we're going to do all that before we get started though please like subscribe hit that bell as always thank you for watching um me putting pictures on a shirt seems to be one of my more popular videos so um let's go ahead and get into this so you can figure out how to do it okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is upload my image um and in doing that i'm going to hit upload i'm going to hit browse i'm going to get the picture that i'm using today um, because this picture has a lot of detail in it i'm going to select complex and look like they've made some upgrades to design space so now you can remove um your background a little bit easier than you could before so um here it says remove background so i'm going to do that and you'll see that it will remove most of it there's still this little piece right here that was part of my chair so i'm going to see if i can erase some of that and if you didn't see what i did i just clicked erase right here and i'm going to slowly like And I'm just going to erase those pieces. <gasps> so, um, there's that. So, I guess, like, see, I made that main mistake right here. So, I guess we can do a restore and see what restore does. Uh, That ain't do what I wanted to do, so let's cancel. Let's try this again. Well, this is the first time I'm seeing this new way. So upload, upload image, browse, picture that I want, complex, continue, remove background. Um erase. Let's try. I'm sure there's a place you can make the circle a little bit bigger like you could on the last one. All right, so here I'm going to say apply, and then there's my picture. And from there, um, you can put in whatever word you want, you can title it whatever you want. I'm just leaving it as me. And I'm going to select a print and then cut because you can, if you do the cut, you're just going to get the outline. So then I'll hit upload. And from there, the picture is now in design space. So I'm going to take that picture and um, add it to the canvas. Make it big. Oh, you need 
of 16. Okay. So from here, you can do your print and cut, or if you want it, you could do words um, around it, um, add other images if you want it. So, um, let's see. All right, y'all. So what I did um, was just upload, just the way I uploaded my picture, I uploaded um, a few other um, social media logos just so that I can add all of that to this. And I just want to see, honestly, if these QR codes are going to scan. Um, so I have added them just to check that out and see if that's something that I can do later. I'm also going to add just the text of my, hmm. I don't understand. It just stopped recording and recorded again. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it's doing. All right. So let me just change. Hopefully I can find a quick font. Um. <laughs> What's this one, John? Let's see. All right. For these purposes, we're going to go with that. Um. So I'm going to curve this a little bit so you, know, you get a lot of little experiences up here is the word curve. Um, if you move it one way, then it curves one way. If you move it the other way, then it curves the other way. So Oh, I'm probably going to have to make it like that. There we go. I think I can curve out a little bit. All right. So I got my cross creation DIY. And then I have my different social medias. Um, and then that is that. So from here, I would hit make it. Don't tell me if it's pretty large. And what? All right. So it separated all my pieces. So we're going to go back to Canvas. We are going to find an outer corner and then grab everything that grabs everything and then we're going to attach that all so that it doesn't separate it and try to print it on different things make it project is not supported by current machine to resolve select okay affected layer so when you get one of these little arrows, you got to figure out, and I'm sure, I'm not sure what the issue is because most of the time it's because it's too large, but I don't see the one piece that's the problem. Image is too large, released, um, reduced to 6.7, 6.7, okay, so my length is too large, 6.7. Five is the highest it can be, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that. So from here, we're not gonna make it. We're gonna hit continue because it's gonna print that picture just the way it's supposed to. Um, I am gonna put a piece of paper, piece of Principal heat transfer paper. I'm going to keep saying that like over and over again because that is the biggest question I get with these projects is what kind of paper do I use? So 
So here it is. I'm going to take the bleed off because I want my um, um, QR codes to be nice and crisp and the bleed will make them blurry. And then I'm going to hit print. Hey, that's my procrastination. I'm not printing this, but I just have an inkjet printer that it is going through. So um, I'm going to get off of this screening because that is pretty much it as far as um, design space. All right, Procast Creators. So I had to go and get a shirt, but basically, so again, here is the principal heat transfer vinyl. And you're just going to peel it from the backing, carefully, of course, just like that. Then have yourself a t-shirt, whatever you're going to put it on, t-shirt, bag, um, any piece of fabric type, type item. And you're going to... Um, you should clean it with a lint brush, but I don't know where mine is right now. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape and just kind of go over the area that I need to make sure it's clean of all debris. A roller lint brush would be much better. But this is what I got right now. Um, and again, just like I showed y'all in other videos, if you want to find the center, lining up the shoulder is a good way to find your center. Making sure all of your pieces are straight. And you can put a center line on your shirt. Hi, yeah, yeah, y'all. I got too much stuff. I'm making stuff for people, so I got stuff everywhere right now. <sighs> so you found that center line, and then on your vinyl. You can fold that in half. And remember, I like for you to fold it to where you're not really going to get your image. Look at that. You can find the center line that you made. Which, where's the one that I made? Can't you see it? <laughs> That way, you know, you pretty much got it straight. I do two to three inches from the collar. Um, and I've been doing this enough where I can pretty much eyeball it from this point. And so I normally do. And for something like this, I would want to cover it. So you could take a nice rag which I don't have right now so y'all can get my old t-shirt this is what I cover um, when I'm doing my Greek letters I cover with just a torn up t-shirt I used to have so we're gonna take I have my thing set at 305 I'm gonna press hard uh, I'm gonna do this for like 30 seconds so I'm so there's your 30 seconds, and now it is adhered to the shirt. So, just so you guys can see it, there it is. Do 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 do. I am probably going to go back and put my procrast creation back here just so that people know can't have all them symbols and then they don't know where to go to 
So I'm going to do that. But that is pretty much the process of putting a picture on a shirt. Um, again, I showed you the removal. The two things that I did this for is one to show you you can remove a background. I'm just this. This is a white. So that's why you still see this white background here. But that, I knew I was putting on a white shirt or I would have trimmed better. Um, the other thing I was doing this for is to make sure I tell you guys, printable heat transfer vinyl. That's all you need. Um, so with that being said, move this back up to me. With that being said, thank you as always for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, if you have questions, please absolutely leave them because that's how this video got made was through a question. Um, so with that being said, thank you and I'll see you all the next time.